Today we're going to clear the drains of a BMW Z4 convertible. Uh, in order to do this, uh, to see how the process is done clearly, I'm going to remove the wheel so that you can see how to access the drain plug. Uh, so if you're going to do this, please make sure you know how to support the car safely. The jack that I got over here is not sufficient. I got other uh, devices supporting the car so that if that jack fails, the car is not going to fall on top of me. So safety first. Make sure you know what you're doing uh, before attempting this. Alright, uh, in order to carry out this exercise, yeah, these are the tools I'm going to use. A 17mm socket to remove the wheel, a 10mm spanner to remove the, the, the splash guard, the wheel arch, uh, then also this star 8mm as well to remove the, uh, the splash, splash guard behind the, the wheel arch splash guard. The nut is loosened so we can actually remove the wheel. Okay, the wheels removed. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move this uh, wheel arch cover. So I got my eight millimeter screwdriver. Yeah, keep these and these somewhere where they will not get lost. And then there's this nut. This nut is plastic, so please be careful when you're undoing it and very careful when you're tightening it so you don't destroy the, um, the thread on this nut. Okay, what you can do is you can remove the bottom of the wheel latch cover, this splash guard over here, um, but then it's Unnecessary effort, in my, in my opinion. So, all you have to do is just pull this down, and underneath there, you can see the drain plug. So, that is the drain plug. This one right here. So, all you, to remove it, all you have to do is just pull it out. Just put your hand in there and give it a tug. Yeah, go in there, give it a tug, and there it comes out. You can see it's got some uh, dirt in, in it, so you can clear that out. Very easy to do. It's very soft, you can see. All right. So what we have to do is the hole which that plug was covering. We need to get in there, and we need to vacuum any dirt out of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a shop vac. This one over here. Okay, let me set it up and I'll show you in a second. So here's the plan. I'm going to run the uh, shop back to the drain plug, the drain plug hole, and I'm going to cover it and then I'm going to use my finger to try and seal it, seal the gaps around the plug in the vacuum so that the vacuum is sucking as hard as possible on the drain plug hole and uh, we hope to get most of the debris out that way. It's difficult to see what is happening in there but you can feel it. If you put your hand in there and feel where the drain plug hole is and where the vac truck vac is, you can actually get everything to position and, and hold it there while it's doing its thing. Alright, let me go ahead and run it. So there, I think that has done the trick and the drain plug should be free of debris for a little while longer. You can see you can actually access the drain plug through this hole over here if your hands are desperate enough so you don't have to really remove this uh, wheel arch cover. Uh, but for the first time it's easy, you know, just to get an idea where it is, it's useful to remove the wheel and do it this way. Okay, with that done, we'll just put back the drain plug. It just pushes right back in. And it's 
screw back the wheel arch cover and you're done. So if this video has been useful to you, please give me a like and thank you for watching.